G'day mates and welcome back to Mountain Blade War- uh, Okay, I thought you guys were coming for me there. For Mountain Blade Warband, the Viking Conquest, or Viking Conquest rather. Ah, my men need rest. Of course they do. Is anyone actually wounded? We lost Bodo last time. Someone said that Bodo wasn't actually complaining about something and I accidentally- I shouldn't have sacrificed him, but whoops. Oh well. Oh, sorry, I cracked me right there. God, got to really pop something out of the- out of joint. But hang on, what do we- what do I- what's the button? Oh! I was looking for the camp button. Where actually is it? Oh, wait here, there we go, right. Wait here for some time. Um, yeah, we had to- I don't know what would have happened if we didn't- I wonder if we could have kept him alive. I'm guessing we could have. What? What? Return when you have 30 or fewer men in your party. Okay. Where is my refuge again? Rumi's Refuge all the way down here, right? Let's just fucking leg it, shall we? Well, it's a little bit ridiculous. We still need to get 21 Strength, 4th uh, Trolls Bridge. Let's uh, manage the garrison. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> yes, our garrison of one peasant woman. Let's send over some freedmen. There we go. Give two freedmen. What else is like a simple... Just a... There we go. Let's just give a freeholder. There we go. And that'll do. Right, so now we've got a sailor. We've got... All of our Pictish horses, horsemen, and horsemen, yes, and uh, skirmishers. Oh shit, we have crossbows. Nice. Look, either way, we've actually got some serious gear now. That bloody um, whatever ship that was, I hit. That slaver's ship was amazing. Oh yeah, we've still got these six lads. We should probably get rid of. Okay, here we go. A dirt road leads to a large fence, beyond which several houses have been built. It seems like a prosperous place, home to a rich man. From where you are, you can see some men moving around inside. Everything seems quiet. Hmm... Oh, God! Oh, God, you seem to have some sort of very blurry farm here. Hello, Thora. Hello, Thought. I should not have drawn my axe, I am sorry. I don't know how to put this away. I'm just gonna have it in my hand while I talk to you. Hell! Welcome! My name's Thora Ulf's, Ulf's daughter. I'm the only daughter of Ulf. You should talk to him. I'd rather talk to you than your father. You're a very pretty girl. Where's Solveig? She can't hear me say this. Why, why, thank you, sir. I blush at your compliments. You're also very handsome. You seem... Wait, so what, what was my voice again? This is like the opposite of a handsome guy. You seem like such a smart girl. Tell me about yourself. Better not. My father's not likely to talk to strangers. Please go talk to him. Oh, hello, Eagle! What the fuck? E Eagle! Eagle! Eagle, you- You fucking cock blocker! You cock blocker! What was his voice again? Thora! Your name's pretty, and so are you. No, this is definitely not his voice. Thora, your name is pretty, and as are you. I'm Eagle Horikson. My weapon's a sword and spear, but I yield to your beauty. Fucking cock blocker. Don't you get cucked by Eagle? Fuck your pig. God damn it. Oh, hi, how you doing, Brunhild? You're keeping watch. Yeah, sorry, I was just flirting. Look, you should really, really take that hole off. It makes your hair disappear and you look like a grey alien. It's kind of fucking terrifying. Regan Hard, the fuck are you doing here, cunt? Yeah, fuck you. You should have died, not bold. You deserved it. Hi, Ulf. My name's Ulf Thorison. My Jarl Sigurd Ragnarsson informed you, notified me that you were coming. Welcome to my farm. You and your men can eat and sleep here until Sigurd's people arrive. The only thing I ask is that none of them comes close to my daughter, Thora. Oh. Oh, God. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you, Ulf. I promise that no one will touch your daughter, and I appreciate your hospitality. Ulf gives some orders, and then two servants step out of their main house with vivens and drink. They give skver, sour milk, and buttered bread to you and your men. Oh, God. Soured milk and buttered bread. Don't you have anything better to offer? It's all I have. An offer of good goodwill. He, he's lying! I've seen barrels of beer and venison in a nearby warehouse. He were eating, drinking this shit while he, he's keeping the best for himself. He spits out what he was eating and throws away his skver horn. <laughs> he's laughing at us. He's a rich man, yet he gives us the worst dining. He's neglected the laws of hospitality. He dies now. Nobody laughs at Eagle, and he will serve an, as an example to others to respect us. She raises her hand. You know what? This is the weirdest thing, but I read this story called... 
Oh god, what was it called? Not the. It's about. Hang on, I got it. Not the banner tail. What was it? Um, I, I want to say like the banner saga, but it's not. Um, it's about Agnes. Uh, what's it? Daughter Agnes. What was her? What was her name? God, she was a Magnus daughter. Right. Okay, Agnes Magnus daughter. Burial rites. That was the name of the book. Right. So we had to read this for school. Um, and this sort of exact. This is like exactly it. It's like a very Icelandic culture. Uh, of like, you know, giving hospitality and stuff and, and like the reaction and all the food as well. This is like the one time where I actually appreciate a school, a book I read in school. This is really nice. Because like, I know all this. Like the wordage and the, the insults and the food and all that. Anyway. If you kill this man, you'll have to pay high compensation to his family. Or perhaps he'll decide to seek revenge on yours. Is that what you want? Do not kill him then, but let's cut his sword hand. He does not deserves, uh, deserve Walhalla. I assume it's meant to be Valhalla, but I assume maybe it's just pronounced that way. I can't ever- I want to find a good voice for Eagle. I don't like his voice. Um, good food and drink has been offered here. This is the home of Ulf, and we will follow his ways. Um, I'm going to say that no- no, I'm going to say that nobody's going to die here. Or should I befriend- let's befriend Ulf, because I want to fuck his daughter. Oh, oh, fuck off, Reagan hard. Bullshit! I will not drink their piss and eat their garbage! I don't care if Eagle kills him or not. I'll go directly to Ulf's warehouse and take what I want. Die in a hole, Reagan hard, you cunt. Yes. Actually, I feel like Eagle's... He's like a Jamie Lannister. <laughs> Good idea, Reagan hard. I'll do the same. Ruby may stay with him and drink sour milk if he wants. That's obviously not like Jamie Lambert, but I'm, I'm not that sort of character voice, like the sort of... That would fit him. I can't remember what Jamie's voice really sounds like. I haven't watched him ever. What is it? The gods have killed more than all of us combined. The gods. Anyway, I'll have to go nail his voice down some other time. I can't remember how it goes. Hmm... Eagle and Regenhardt. When I make decisions, you follow them. Got it? Both stop, surprised by your authoritarian turn. Eagle turns to you, nervous. Yes. Yes, my lord. But your service will do as you command. Um, do not touch the stock. That food is not ours. All fucking loves me! Okay. Thanks. I'm sure the gods will reward you. I will tell you one thing. Sven Bulnek is not a man who submits easily, so keep your weapons close. That's what I'll do. Now I go to my station to my, uh... Do I go to station my men to wait until Sven Bullneck appears? Bring it the fuck on, Sven Bullneck. Shit. I've got... Uh, yeah, look, Solveig, okay, I'm sorry. Excuse me, handsome. Pair us, you cunt. Fuck ye. I hope it won't happen again. Here we go. You discover that the... Oh, sorry. You discover that the farm is a good place to spend the day away from the dangers and difficult decisions of the road. For a moment, you dream that the field farm is yours. You cultivate the fields, direct the slaves, and have each day bettered by the following. You think of Thora, who visits Eagle every night. Oh, f I got cucked hard. Um, she's a beautiful woman protected by her father. She doesn't have to worry about uh, anything other than being happy. You see uh, yourself sitting on a bench at the door, watching the sunset or the dawn. Is this what you want? Would it be too much of the same for you? No matter, you still have many things to do before thinking of a quiet life. On the second day, one of your lookouts alerts you about armed men approaching. They are numerous and carrying the manner of Sigurd's snake in the eye. Without having to give orders, your men pick up their weapons, put on their armour, and they run to the farm entrance to form their shield wall. Begin the exchange. Olvir Whitehair. Hail, men in the farm, we have a prisoner for ye. You. you look at the men who came. They're many, maybe more than sixty, and they're well armed. A prisoner is pushed ahead with his head covered by a sack. Is it? Who is it? Hold up, boys. Hail, my name is Olval, known as Whitehair. So you're the one seeking my brother, Sven, known as Bullneck. Well, I do not care. I have come solely on behalf of Sigurd Ragnarsson to give you your mother. I don't care about my mother, though. Hail, Olvar Whitehair. Sorry, Olvar Whitehair. I've heard of you and your agreements with Loki. Let my friend join his mother before continuing. Sure, Eagle, King's bastard. I've heard of you, too. And I said that you have become the mouth of Rimi, the traitor of Kenanmer. 
He is free to talk to our prisoner. I'll send her to you. I'm serious. I'm rushing because, yeah, fucking, I don't control when it switches. It switches really quick. Why are you guys just sort of... <laughs> That is, that is funny. That is something that is, that has given me good humours. That has, I'm just looking at my timer right now because I don't want to look at the fucking screen. Um, I'm going to remove the sack because this is clearly a trap. Carefully, you take the sack off the head of your mother. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's even better than I thought. He's got tits. He's got tits. Perhaps you thought we were just going to give you your mother? After what you've done, destroying our plans in Dossinger, insulting my yarl at his own home, Cigar Ragnarsson wants you dead. Fuck, I shouldn't have given up Bodo. Now you die. Men, shield wall, now! Jesus Christ, charge! Lay into them, boys. My oh fuck, we don't have our horses. No, my main advantage. Fuck, where am I? Where's my axe? Guys, I need shield wall support. Come here. Okay, sweeping around the side. Okay, this is my guy. You're my man. Oh shit. Here we go. Come on. Get a little bit closer. There we go. Fucking Reagan hard. Oh my god, we are laying into these guys. All right, from behind. Here we go. Oh shit, I just got stabbed. Oh shit, this is actually a guy here. Hang on. Okay, hang on. Me and you, boy. Me and you. Bring it on. Shit. Oh fuck, not me and you. Not me and you. Run! Run, Remy, run! No! Oh, we got fucked up. We got fucked up. Oh my god, my hand came off! My fucking hand came off! Okay, new attempt. I've pulled everyone back just to the farm gates. Oh, guys, 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 get back, get back! You fucking fools! Get back! Okay, basically I'm gonna try and form a shield wall in here. Um, hang on, how do you actually... So if I go four... Formations, no, okay, so we have four... Complex formations, shield wall, done. That should give us an advantage. Actually, everyone just charge. So here we go. It'll be like a siege. We force them in the gates. Here we go. Actually, hang on. I can actually just hit him with fucking throwing spears, can't I? Oh my god, yes! Some effective fucking throwing here. Hang on. 61 damage from a headshot just then. Holy shit. Right, give me my spear. Yeah, this is how we do it. This is how we do it. Here we go. Fuck, hang on. I'm caught on this thing. I need to move across. This is how we do it. Oh, God. They're breaking through. That's all right. I'll use this cart to my advantage. What are you going to do, bitch? Oh, God. All right. This is going to be very silly. Holy shit! I almost died from blood loss there. Did I do it? Please, end the mission before I die. I died. Fuck off! Right, uh, fuck that fight. That is terrible, terrible game design by so many merits. Um, I'm just gonna litz over the reason why that was bullshit. To start with, they only let you bring 30 troops. Uh, I only have 30 troops with me, of course. But upgrading troops in this game is- in, sorry, this mod is really fucking difficult. Let's just fucking kill these bastards. Um, it's a really big pain in the ass. So, I've only got 30 pretty basic troops. The enemy can just bring fully upgraded troops because the enemy doesn't give a shit, doesn't actually exist as an army, and it's just gonna bring in some great fucking Vikings. So my troops get cut to pieces, because I can only bring 30 because they're afraid I'll attack. What the fuck does that mean? Like, have the farmer get angry with you if you bring hundreds of troops, but why the fuck can't I bring more? Anyway, beyond that, 
my troops couldn't get into formation because, for one, they just run forwards. Because I, I think it's just because of that sort of area. They just charge forwards for no apparent reason. And so get cut down by the vastly superior enemies instead of using the bridge like I was trying to do. Right? So your troops get cut down mercilessly because they're fucking charging heavily armored Vikings and you're trying to order them to use a farm but it doesn't work. And then finally, of course, I had to just slowly stab them all to death on top of the thing and I bled out anyway, right? That was just fucking frustrating. Look, there was a lot of shit design there. So much of it, primarily being around the fact that my troops couldn't follow orders. And it didn't give me any time to prepare for the battle either. It's like you draw your troops into a shield wall, but they weren't in a shield wall. The enemy were in a shield wall. My troops were not, and I couldn't use the bridge, so I couldn't even have that advantage. It was such a terrible setup against vastly superior troops where my own numbers were artificially limited. It was bullshit. So yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to say fuck it to all that, and we're going to go around and we're going to level up some troops. We're going to do some fucking quests and shit. And we can't stay in, of course, Denmark, because everyone hates us here, so we're going to have to leave. We're going to have to go to somewhere in, uh, in fucking England. Share the loot as is common. Yeah, there we go. Least probably. Oh, handsome. I cannot praise you for having more women of such quality as Brunhild now in our shield wall. I don't care, she's Frisian, supposedly weak and once a slave to the Danish. She's clearly a survivor that has some profound respect and obedience to you. This, of course, makes me extremely happy. If only all of our people were like her. Uh, some of, uh, someone who has overcome a troubled past in our house or the Jarl of Kinema. These experiences, these difficult ones, are the ones that bring out the best in people, don't you think? Very good! You know, it wasn't very good, that fucking fight. Yeah, fuck that. I just... It'd be good if the game gave me any idea I was about to enter in an end of game. Like, because the thing is, I die if I fail that fight. I don't even, like, get to come back. No, I just die. So it's not even like, hey, come back and level up later. Or, like, it's not even like, warning, this fight's going to be really rough. It, wasn't, it, it was a trick anyway. It was meant to not be a fight. But obviously it was going to be a fucking fight. Ugh. Look, that's just, it puts a bad taste in my mouth. That whole situation was shit. Anyway, let's fucking offload my troops if I can. Um, here we go. It's, it's just, the worst part is the loss of control over my troops. That's what pisses me off the most. Because if I don't have good enough troops and they die, fair enough. But if my troops die because they literally will not listen to my orders as I repeatedly tell them, don't fucking charge out there. <sighs> God, it's just frustrating. It's just crap. Let's go sailing across the fucking seas because they, I'm not welcome here anyway. We're going to go to the southern England and we're going to find someone down here. Danish Longfort? What? Let's go to that. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Let's go explore. Let's go do some interesting shit that doesn't involve me being in that shit place. Look, I'm well salty over that. It's just pff, so many shitty design decisions right there. Anyway, landing point. Done. Here we go. We're going to raid some, like, monasteries and shit and get some money. You approach the hideout. The Danish elite Viking and I haven't spotted you yet. You can still sneak away unnoticed. A difficult sight to the cliff, down a stream bed cutting through sea cliffs means that only a handful of troops in your party will be able to join the attack, and be unable to bring their horses. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to save up. Let's go for a fight, shall we? Attack the hideout. Whoa! Wow, okay, so this is a restart real quick. For some reason, let me test this. Okay, shield bashing is definitely bugged. Look, I'm trying to shield bash, I can't. For some fucking reason, sometimes it'll shield bash, sometimes I'll just stand there and not shield bash, and other times I'll be shielding and then I'll bash, and because I'm bashing my shields down and I'll die. I like this mod, but there's definitely a lot of, are you fucking kidding me, issues with it. Right, sit the fuck down. Guys, get him in the rear. Alright, you know what, just fucking charge him. Also, my fucking weapon is so slow compared to theirs. Here we go. Oh god, this poor guy. Dang it, everyone, everyone fall back to here, fall back to here. Because we've got fucking bows and they don't. So I'm going to try and take them on wherever they... Oh, good. Good. Okay, and... What the shit? Oh, he shield bashed me. Cunt. So that's how shield bashes should work. Like, a slip in a block. Right, hang on, I'm going to pull back my troops. But I just... They don't work. What the fuck was that? What was that? I just got stunned or something? I did actually shield bash there, which sort of helped, but... God, the combat... I feel like a lot of the combat they've added is a very buggy. It doesn't work how it should. Because occasionally I just press the button, like... No shield bashing, no shield bashing, no shield bashing. 
You can hear me mashing the button to try and shield bash, but yeah, it's not working. Right, everyone charge. I'm not, I wonder if it's like, does it trigger when you're next to someone? Like, watch this. If I'm like next to him. Maybe, that's fucking weird. That's really weird. Why does it work like that? Hang on. So if I, I can't trigger on allies, but I triggered on an ally earlier. What the fuck is with this? How does this fucking work? Is it like a super long cooldown maybe? Oh shit, he's getting fucked up. Okay, get out of my way, Eagle. Wait, that's a rough one. Oh, you're a Norse companion, not an Eagle. I mean, I guess that's what Eagle is. I just really want these boats. If we can steal them, I'll be happy. Those boys are looking tough, though. Have we still got the bowmen with us? We do. Good. Oh no, that's not the bowmen, it's the Pictish guy. Shit. Alright, let's try this. Yeah, there's definitely some frustrating things with this mod. The, the more I play, the more I get just pissed off with the little niggly bits about it. It's like... It's like someone taking Oblivion and trying to add, like, more advanced combat to it. At a certain point, you're just limited by the engine, I'm guessing. Which is like, like, sort of the issues we're having here. Okay, good. Okay, now can I shield bash him? See, look, I did! What the f- Okay, he, he counter shield bashed. Right, I was gonna say that was a little bit ridiculous. Guys, please charge. Hang on. Charge. Fucking Christ, I wish there was an easier way to command people. I'm trying to, like, do everything with one hand. There we go. Okay, he, down, down he goes. Right, this is, this is our battle. That's actually really tough. Shit, because they're elite Viking Viking gear. Viking gear? Viking gear. There we go. Right. Come on. Their hideout and their ill-gotten gains are now yours. Oh my god. That's actually not better than mine. That's not better than... God, I have the best armor. The Dornish shield is worse than mine. But hey, the Dornish boots. There we go. That's what I wanted. Bent throwing spears, cheese, pork... God, this was not a good haul. Seriously, that was it? God, that was really not worth it. Alright, whatever. Let's go check out Ball Grove, which hopefully has pagans. Oh, wait, no, that was the guy. That's where I killed the guy. Right. Um, now, let's see. Let's make friends with Dunwick, I guess. East Angle. What's this, Mercy? Yeah, sure, but then we'll go burn places like Washing Gas. Lovely. That's, that's my plan. Dunwick, how you doing, mate? We'll leave Domic alone. Oh, shitting bollocks. What the shit is this? How well armored are these boys as well? Regenhard, why am I with you? I feel like you are the like reason that this is happening, Regenhard. Well, this is bullshit. There goes 96 penning gas. Lovely. Right, let's trade with the locals and get rid of that pork, shall we? Good, get rid of the pork. Sell all the gambeson because I need the money, not like I could give it to my guys, but I need the money really. Here we go. Good, 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 good. Okay, thousand penning gas, lovely. We should pretty much actually is there a lord here? I wonder. We should talk. Who the fuck is Edberge? That's a lady, right. Um cool. Don't really care about you. Christian Bishop. Well shit. Not about to find any uh Vikings around here, are we? That's what I really want. I want one of the Viking lads so I can uh, go back to my berserker army that I had before. Anyway, we're gonna go burn washing gas so we can actually uh, get some loot. I think we hit there and then we hit Wabra and then probably come back across. Oof, crap. We're uh, close to running out of money. Washing gas. Pillage the monastery. I know someone said I shouldn't do this because it makes it hard to make a kingdom, but fuck that. I want to pillage a monster all I want. Hey, be careful, horse boys. Actually, horse boys. Uh, you're actually horse archers. Um, formation. Dismount. Now, I know your horse will be really nice, which is why I'm going to steal one and ride it around. So, uh, enjoy. Everyone charge. Give me that fucking pony. Man, I want a horse so bad. I probably should save up for one, but once I've sacked a few, uh, monasteries, we'll see. Look, it's really, like, the only way I know to make some quick cash, and I'm gonna need a lot of cash to put together a proper army. Wow, these guys are actually coming in formation. I'm gonna punch you! Fuck you! Oh, shit, I missed. Well, that was a little bit rude, wouldn't you say? Stabity, stabity, stab, stab, stab! Stabity, stabity, stab, stab, stab! Stabity, stabity, stab, stab, stab! stab. Oh, this is fun. Oh, you've got a knife. Where'd you get that from? Oh, God. Sad, isn't it? Yeah, you just got stabbed in the head, didn't you? God, this is just so cathartic after that bullshit battle. Well, Eagle, 
Ejil actually got knocked out by a fucking monk. Oh, hello, there's the last of them. Come here, come here. Oh yes, you're going to try and flee, but I'm on a pony. What are you going to do? Huzzah! Okay, I'll let my mates finish here. Hello. Oh, is that Brundhild's gonna cut him to pieces? Jesus, Brundhild, alrighty. Oh, he's like a Briton. Anyway, captured monks. Don't have anyone really to sell these to. We need to find someone to uh, trade with. Nice. The majority of your troops is Christian. Oh. 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 Okay, whoops. I was going to say, we should also hit up this trader. What's he's got on in... Hang on, let's see. Oh, he's actually a pretty fucking good trader. He's like, he's well equipped. Let's go down to Warbrach. Warbrach. I should really have sailed down, actually. Oh, well. Pillage the monastery. Alright, guys, just to wrap up today, I have done a few quests. I did a peasant quest. The reason why I cut it because it took forever to do, and also I went to the movies. But, um, we're going to come back. We're coming back right as I'm trying to bang someone, so I'll explain. Um, we've done a quest for the Elderman in this area, so hopefully he'll be happy enough with us now that we can recruit men in this area and actually start to level up people. We'll work on that. For now, we're trying to bang this prostitute. Nice. You like me, my lord, don't you? Well, for you, there's a special price of only a hundred coins. As a token of our friendship, here, yeah, nice, gift. Time passes and you forget the rigors and the fatigue from the journey that had lingered upon your body and soul. For a few hours, your armor and sword, the fear of dying in any skirmish, the punishment of the rain and the wind, the dust of the roads are all shoved under a small patch of happiness. But in the end, it ends all too soon when your friend quietly leaves the room. Did I seriously just lose morale for my men? All right, I'd like to raise morale for my men. Yeah, no, okay, you're a bit expensive. Anyway, look, that's all nice and happy. We need to find a, uh, a guy to sell these uh, these people to. Um, we've got a bunch of prisoners. And what we need to find as well is the Elderman. You are not the Elderman. Hello. Um, I would like to ask something from you. I'd like to know the name of... Shit. Well, hold on. Beg my leave. Who was the guy I got? Elderman Athelred. Athelred, right. Hopefully he will let me... Um, so, hang on. I wish to ask something. The location of Athelred. Is it Norvik? Right. So, here we go. Up this way. Hello there. That's none of the people. Oh, wait, hang on. Here he is. Oh, he's actually in the place. Okay. Hang on a second. You can... Oh, there's a Lord's Hall here. All right. Hello. Villager. Hey, this is the dude. Hello. I heard you gave charity to my tenants. Um... Whoa, what the shit? Okay, so... Because I helped the peasants with a quest, he actually dislikes me because I undercut him. Fuck you. I killed the guy, whatever. 600 penningus. Uh, this is blood money, I can't accept it. Good, okay, now he actually loves me, good shit. Now my reputation is only minus 19. Um, right. I want to ask you something. No? I'd like permission to recruit men. I've come to know you, um, and good job. Okay. Sure, okay, done. So now we should be able to recruit men in his area, which I believe is Dunwick. Let's just go try. He might not actually be Lord of Dunwick. I might have fucked it up. Because I've just realized this. Oh, yeah. Oh, Sinin Enigman. So this video will be coming uh, later today, and you will dis oh fucking Christ discover the reason why I've had a lot of issues with this fucking game. Where are you bastards running off to? There he is. Right, finally you. Yeah, I know you're the wrong guy anyway. Yeah, let me take this money, sir. Thank you. Cool. Right, I need to talk to the friggin' king. Where is he? Pricks. Where is your king? There he is. This guy. Okay. Hi, you. What do you want? Uh. Any tasks? Can't take this job. Any tasks? Done. You're the leader of Hagelus Ham. Lovely. Let's uh, take in the Hagelus Ham dollars, and then we'll uh, end it out there. Come on. Click taxes. Here we go. Excellent. Ignore them. Continue. Yep. Peasants are incoming. Anyway, so I did a lot of things. I had to reload because I got, basically just got fucking caught by um, Mercy, who I didn't realize I was at war with, but they just removed all of my troops, and I'm not fucking regrinding. Troops are really hard to get in this version, turns out. I'm not going to regrind all of my troops because 
I wandered into an army, like, to someone I didn't even realize I was at war with. I guess I'm at war with Mercy, so I'll have to go sort that out. I was like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not. I just can't be fucking bothered. Um, this mod's a lot more punishing, because it's just, like, troops are so hard to get and bring back. I feel like, honestly, the best way is just to go get Berserkers. They're so good. Uh, although they're unarmored, so they, they, go down, they go down pretty easy under arrow fire. Um, and it just seems like the fucking Vikings are the best soldiers in the world. The Pictish are pretty good, because they have crossbows, but... Um... Alright, fucking piss off. Oh my god, did you seriously just get knocked out? But okay, you disgust me. Solveig, I thought you were a good warrior. Come on, you little shit. Yeah, come on, you little shit. I'll take all of ya. Oh, fuck you. Come on. Bixby, don't turn on. Fuck you. F come on, you little shit. I'm just tanking their blows because they do no damage to me. Come on then. Yeah, you. Look at this zero damage attacks. Come on, little shithead. Right, let's take some money. Anyway, yeah, plus the, um... What do you call it? Oh, the whole situ... Wait, fucking seriously? You can have more than one revolt, really? Okay. I like how the Berserker's here, but the Berserker wields a fucking stick, too. Because even the Berserker knows he can't kill... T like, I feel like the Berserker could still kill people with that. Like... You know, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like you might be a little bit more dangerous than you put on. He howls like a dog. Speaking of, I still want to find a dog. I'm almost definitely gonna, like, I'll Google it and I'll see how I can, like, definitely get a dog. Um, and then I'll go do it. Because it seems to just ask villager leaders if they have a stray dog until one says yes. Because that sounds like an amazing idea. Just continually ask people, excuse me, do you have any stray dogs? Be like, uh, no. That's not really... We don't, you know, uh, we, we look after sheep. Ah, oh, yeah, well, I was looking for a stray dog. I mean, I can sell you my dog. No, 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 a stray. I don't want a puppy, I want a stray dog. Because I myself am a stray. Okay, cool, can we actually finish fucking getting this money so we can win? Penningas, 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 lovely, lovely. It's a lot of fucking money to come from bum, bum fuck nowhere. 4,400 from... This place. I refuse to believe there was that many coins in this place. And that's just taxes, that's not even the whole thing. Alright, where is this guy anyway? Oh shit, that might actually be him. There it is. Hello there, about the task you gave me. Here's all the taxes. Uh, I would like permission. Good stuff. Okay, cool. So we now own the permission to do a recruit in his land. Let's get some lads and we'll end it out there. Ask for potential recruits. Shit, seven angle freeholders. Okay, so hang on. Angle freeholders. Let's see these boys. Army, angle freeholders. Um, apparently I've, I've already got any. Oh, hello. Oh, god, oh my god. Okay. So we can get spearmen down to warrior noble or horsemen. That's pretty good. The horsemen carry... Uh, there's, no, there's no bowmen, however. Companion to veteran to bodyguard or to a standard bearer. I really want to get a standard bearer. I don't have a single standard bearer net, uh, yet. Who's my, like, the warrior? No. Bowman, no. Wait. Warrior archer, right, no. There's someone here. Okay, hang on. S Norse spearman. Do we have any Norse spearmen? I think we do, but we should get one so we can upgrade it. But see, here's the thing. is like, we've got all these guys. They're just really hard to upgrade. Like, we go through a lot of battles, and they never seem to really upgrade. Maybe I have to train them. Um, no, this is just a tourney. Alright, look, let's meet hall real quick. Is there a guy to, uh... There's a Finn archer. Dude, there's Finns here. Part of me really wants to buy some Finnish people, but I think I'll be alright. Oh, ransom broker. Done, here we go. That's all I need to know. And we got 510 pending gas. Well, that was not as much as I hoped for. Alright, well, thank you all for watching. I've been Rumi, and this has been Viking Conquest. I think I'm going to spend the next time. I might, like skip through a lot of things the next time as I just level up troops. I want to be like a proper good army. I need at least 30 amazing troops to take on Haf's, uh, Ulf's farmstead rather. So I'll see you next time. Farewell.